How can we build interpretable models of high-dimensional data, such as this video of a mouse? To begin with, we might notice that the mouse tends to repeat certain behaviors. Ideally, the data might form distinct elliptical clusters, in which case a mixture of Gaussians would be a good model. However, what if the clusters aren't well described by Gaussians? Then, a mixture of Gaussians fits the data poorly and reports too many clusters. We could also use a single Gaussian warped by a neural network. This model fits the data well, but will be difficult to interpret in high dimensions. Ideally, we'd like to combine the best of both worlds. Fortunately, the strengths and weaknesses of graphical models and neural networks are complementary. Graphical models are interpretable, while neural networks are flexible. Our paper combines latent graphical models with neural network likelihoods. For example, let's combine the spiral-shaped data with a latent mixture of Gaussians warped through a neural network. This model automatically learns that there are five differently shaped clusters in the data. As another simple example, let's model a one-dimensional video using a latent linear dynamical system connected with a neural network to the pixels of each frame. The model learns to first to encode the frames, and then also learns the dynamics of the system. Neural network likelihoods can be used to extend any existing graphical model. Such hybrid models have been proposed before, but they were difficult to use because inference in these models was too slow. We can do fast inference by using recognition neural networks to summarize the evidence given by the data in a form that's compatible with existing inference routines. First, we apply the recognition network to raw data, for instance, the frames of a video. Second, we combine all this evidence using fast inference methods such as message passing. Now, let's put it all together to build an interpretable model of mouse video. Since mouse behavior is built mainly out of a few distinct actions, let's start with a discrete latent variable that indicates which behavior the mouse is performing at each frame. Next, we'll add a continuous latent variable to describe the parts of the state that ch change slowly through time. Finally, we'll add a neural network that generates frames of depth video given the continuous latent state. After training our model on real video, we can check the model by generating new video. Can you tell which is real and which is generated by the model? Finally, let's examine the discrete states learned by the model. This discrete state seems to correspond to the mouse standing up. Another state corresponds to the mouse falling back down. A third state corresponds to the mouse grooming himself. For more information, please see our paper.